effects does the extreme heat have on our body? ABC News medical contributor, physician at Stanford Children's Health, Dr. Alok Patel joins me now for more on this. Dr. Patel, what are some of the less obvious ways these kind of temperatures can affect the body? Well, simply put, Diane, our thermostat, our hypothalamus, basically wants to keep us cool. It's gonna do things by dilating our blood vessels and helping us sweat. And if this gets outpaced by the heat, this can mess with our muscles, our cells, our organs, our brains, and can be fatal. The first thing that people may feel are those heat cramps, which could be like muscular pains. This can turn into heat exhaustion if you're not careful, which can start to make people feel really tired and fatigued. And if you don't get out of the sun and get cooled by this moment, this can turn into heat strokes, which can then cause these mental symptoms like confusion, dizziness, people can lose their consciousness. This can absolutely be fatal. It's very some, something that people should be paying attention to, especially if you're high risk or if you're a child or the elderly. So what can you do other than crank the AC? Well, I love this. This is the American Heart Association's five hot weather tips. Sounds like a pop song, but it's extremely important. Preparation is everything. Mm -hmm. So one of the most important things that people want to do is pay attention to the clock. You don't need to be going outside during those peak hot weather hours. Stay away from like 11 to 3 p.m. Dressing for the heat. Look at things like light clothing, sweat wicking. Hydration is so important, especially for our entire bodies, but also for our ability to sweat. Taking breaks, getting out of the heat, get in the shade every 15 minutes. And also there's certain medications that can decrease your ability to burn off some of that heat. Certain medical conditions can make you more susceptible. So check in with your doctor if you plan on taking a hot weather vacation of some sorts. That is good advice. Um, what else do you advise it for outdoor activities? Because it's hard to be stuck inside all the time. So if you wanna work out, or even if you wanna take the kids out to the playground, how do you get around the concerns here? I know I can't be a doctor and tell people not to work out because it's really good for our souls and our bodies, but pay attention to what you're doing outside. Now, young, healthy people may underestimate the effects of heat on our bodies. When we work out, we generate heat. If you're in a humid place, you might be less efficient at sweating to get that, that sweat off of you to actually have that evaporating, cooling effect. And young people are at high risk for exertional heat stroke. We we see it all the time with runners, hikers, people outside, youth sports and football. Female cross country runners are at especially high risk as well. And Diane, we're talking about going outside and doing work. This is not just recreational, but people who are working outside right now, migrant workers, people in farms, construction workers are also at increasingly high risk. So this is something we all need to be paying attention to. Are there any groups like age groups that are more high risk than others? Any group of people that we need to be particularly on the lookout for? It's typically the extremes of the age group. So people who are really elderly, who may not actually have the awareness to know that they're overheating and young kids who are not as good at thermoregulating or burning that heat off of their bodies. And I'm glad you asked this question because we need to always make the PSA about people watching their young kids mm. in the heat. Young kids are gonna go and play if they want to. And also, please, please do not leave any kids in cars right now. We see it every year in every state. It is so unfortunate. Oh, yeah, I remember I had two fall winter babies and being concerned, is the baby too cold? And I had a pediatrician tell me it's much more dangerous for them to be too hot. So I think about that Absolutely. in these summer months. Absolutely. Dr. Patel, thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.